Should a trust be named as a beneficiary of an IRA? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor, Chris Barry. So we have a trust, right? And there's two ways that a trust can control property. One is it can be the owner or the trust can be a beneficiary. Now, as I said before, with any qualified accounts, that's an IRA, that's a Roth, that's a 401k, that's a 403b. If it's yours, you're the one that earned it, it has to be in your name. Qualified accounts have to be in your name. If it's an inherited IRA and they named a trust as a beneficiary, the trust can be a beneficiary of that account. So the way that typically we set it up is that if you have a 401k or IRA, you're the owner of it. You have to be the owner of it. And then typically we'll name the spouse as the beneficiary. And then we'll name the trust as the contingent beneficiary. So more times than not, with any type of qualified account, this is a Roth, this is a 403B, this is a traditional IRA, any type of qualified accounts, primary beneficiary is almost always the spouse because the spouse can do what's called a spousal rollover. And the contingent beneficiary, if we're setting up a trust, almost always is a trust. So again, the trust cannot be the owner of your IRA. Now that said, and this has been the drum that we've been beating since the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act expired, is that we should be looking at from a tax perspective, even if we don't have a trust, pulling money out of those traditional 401ks, IRAs, paying the tax, and then now we can invest it. Now the trust could be the owner. So especially if we set up a castle trust, it makes sense for two reasons. One, from a tax perspective, we're going to pay less tax over time because taxes are lower right now than they're going to be in the future. And then the second piece of it is that if it is in that asset protection trust, now we have that asset protection. So almost always, if you're going to keep it as an IRA or a Roth, and that's a different discussion, but if you are, you're going to be the owner, primary beneficiary will be spouse, contingent beneficiary will be the trust. 